Parsons joined us as we welcome in someone who knows Tiger very well, Nota Begay the third. He's a Golf Channel analyst, a four-time PGA Tour winner, just named captain of the U.S. Junior President's Cup team, and he was also Tiger's roommate at Stanford. So, Nota, you have the resume. Yeah, you know him deep down. We know that he's got the mind for it. People are saying he's hitting the shots just as he should. But do you think physically he can actually win this thing? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that I've learned over the decades that we've been friends is uh, you never count him out and you never underestimate Tiger Woods' ability when it comes to competition, especially competition at, at the Masters. And, you know, the comeback's remarkable, all the physical hurdles, uh, the emotional hurdles, everything that he's had to endure mentally as well um, are just a testament to his resolve and his commitment to coming back out here and competing. Tiger Woods would not be on the grounds here at Augusta National if he certainly didn't feel like he could win. Carson, good morning, buddy. It's good to see you. I, you know, you followed Tiger when he played with Charlie back in December at the PNC. And if you had put his odds of being here this week at the Masters as possible but unlikely, describe, if you can, the sort of Herculean improvements he's made in barely four months to get to where he is now. Well, Carson, it's, uh, it's dramatic. You know, I had a chance to visit with him uh, in between rounds, followed him in the practice round, and uh, to see him hit the shots was one thing. I was impressed with the club head speed that he generated, uh, his distance that he was hitting, uh, the quality of the iron shots, but he was still struggling to get around mobility-wise on the leg, especially deeper into the round, and so I think that's the biggest concern you heard in his press conference yesterday that you know his major issue now is you know can he get through 18 holes and then consequently if he gets to the finish and is in contention, 72 holes, you know, that's over six miles of water on one of the hilliest golf courses that the players will face all year. Noda, we talked about the physical. Can we talk about the mental? Mm -hmm. What drives him? You've known him since he was a kid. What is driving this comeback? He certainly has nothing left to prove. No, certainly nothing left to prove. Tiger's always been one of the greatest self-motivators in sport. Uh, he had created such a distance between him and the next best player than during his prime that he had to develop a way to motivate himself. And I've never seen anybody better at getting focused and finding a way to uh, create these opportunities to stay focused and motivated on a specific task. And coming here to Augusta to compete, not just to play and be seen, but to come here and contend. Uh, was always something I think uh, in the back of Tiger's mind shortly after you know he rec was recovering from this accident and I just think that's the way he's hardwired I mean mm -hmm. he is you know the most recognizable athlete on the planet and he just doesn't have any other gear but then to go out and see if he can do something that um, pretty much everybody has written off I also don't think you can rule out the Charlie effect the motivation yeah. that yeah. Charlie his 13 year old son <laughs> is yeah. offering him too yeah. it's good stuff Noda. we're gonna be busy this weekend a reminder for everybody watching for the very latest from Gusty can catch Golf Central live from the Masters all week long on the Golf Channel or just swing by my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.